on this episode we're going to be changing the heater core out in Gemini's heater box because I suspect and it turned out to be true this is the old one of how uh, you know they'll need to be changed out and I didn't want to get the whole dash and everything put back together and then a few months down the road it would start leaking and then I'd have to take it all apart again so um, one thing to keep in mind you'll have to remove the dash and everything it's a pain in the butt to do this so but it is doable probably in my opinion any skill level but just to let you know if you've already got the dash all apart you probably should switch it out it should be one of those things that you should just automatically change out especially if you don't know the history of it if you know it's been switched out and and more recent then you're probably good but if you know nothing about it just switch it out when in doubt switch it out i don't know how many little bolts around let's go in the light like right there there's several of those all the way around i believe that's how you get into it it's the only way i can see that it opens and it's an eight millimeter socket that I'm going to be using so let's go ahead and start yeah. now on project blue I tried to remove the heater core in project blue but I ended up cracking the heater box which probably isn't a good thing for it only thing is just got to make sure that we can take it apart so we'll have to remove these maybe so we'll see what it does something else keeping it up there's one right here see there's all kinds of hidden hidden screws and then remove these so yellow on the outside blue on the bottom shoot maybe I better take a picture of that let me take a picture of that before I, because it got the uh, brown, uh, red one coming up here to this, yellow to here, blue to here, and then brown to there. And that makes a difference because this all connects to your heater controls. So it determines what function is what. So let's see if it'll budge now. Oh yeah, we've got movement, folks. There's still some hang-ups somewhere. All right, so a couple things to keep in mind. So I pulled these out. Uh, there's a screw hidden behind the green connector. And disconnecting the wire. So I disconnected from, looks like, some sort of control module maybe but disconnected that and then this little one runs to the front or technic yeah to the front of the vehicle and that's connected to this box right here so and we don't have to probably pull that all the way through we just need it enough to separate um I'm trying to think what else could be hanging it up I mean because it's it's getting loose so part of the issue is up front here I've got this gasket I don't know if there's any screws down in there that's a thing you gotta 
in here. I don't see anything. So maybe we can just pop this out and see what's on the inside. See, they've got some sort of adhesive on the corners of this. Which is broken apart, so that's fine. So that's, something's holding it up. Maybe in the middle. All right, so I broke it loose, and uh, which is sweet. So that screw that was right here, definitely need to remove that because that goes with the heater core. Let's see if we can remove it the rest of the way. And I found out what was hanging me up. So I had, there's a screw right up in here that you need to get. So like I said, take your time with this, or I, didn't, I don't know if I said it, but take your time with it because uh, you don't want to break this box. And uh, also hanging it up was this. Uh, I don't know if we can replace this or not, but I'll maybe look into it. But as you can see, the heater core in here is pretty corroded. Got some weird green shit on it. So, and then the bracket to it has come off. So let me show you what the new one looks like. All right, so here's the new one. It's, honestly, it almost looks a little smaller. Uh, I guess it's about the same size. But yeah, so it's made out of, it looks like aluminum. And then the old one looks like it's made out of like a brass or something, or copper. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out and I'll show it to you when I get it out. All right, so we got it out and yeah, it's probably a good thing we're switching this out. Not only is the bracket disconnected, so these move a little bit, which would cause a crack in here with the with the vibrations of the Jeep, I would think. Uh, but also, look how wet it is down on the bottom here. So it's pretty tacky, which means it's probably been leaking a tad already and so it's a very good thing that we're switching this out. Now I'm going to retrofit the new one in just to make sure it fits because it, it did come with a new weather stripping, although it doesn't look like enough. I mean, looking at the old one, they've even put weather stripping along this one edge here. All right, it fits in there pretty snug. But uh, I think it's going to be just fine. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this weather stripping around, which will make it even more snug. Not sure this lines up, this part right here. So we'll see uh, if it lines up. If it's off a little bit, I'll just drill a little hole and then uh, I'll put the screw in that. But. I mean it's close but I, I don't know if that's supposed to be even with these little markings or not so we'll I'm thinking it's supposed to be but that's all right we can get around that and and the AC I don't even know what this thing's called it's for the AC uh, the ones without AC obviously don't have it this from what I can see I'm not going to dig it out or anything it looks in pretty good condition so I'm not going to worry too much about that so all right let's get this taken out and get the weather stripping put on and get her back in there and get this thing all back together again as much as we can anyways so all right so the top half so i got it in i probably should have showed it 
but pulling it apart yeah see I snugged it in there the top half of the box fit perfect uh, there's a little like flap right in here just make sure that's in the right position as you're bringing it down and it comes right into place and uh, make sure you're not pinching these because they will get in the way as I suspected it's a little off right here so I'm just gonna do a little pilot hole for the screw uh, but let's get start getting all these screws put back in and then this heater box will be ready to install got everything put back together went back smoothly uh, last thing I got to do is just do that little pilot hole so that way we can secure that uh, make sure you plug in the correct color so good thing I took a picture of it all the little screws are tightened and everything is connected back uh, these remounted connected on the box right here and it we're good to go on that so let me drill this pilot hole I won't show it but just I'm just gonna do a little hole there I mean that's already going the screw so as long as I can get that tip in there it'll widen it enough to screw this in good so I won't show that but we're pretty much done with this uh, did, I do need to find that clip when I popped it off it flung somewhere so I'll keep an eye out for it so we won't be putting this in the Jeep quite yet because we got the wiring harness to do and that should be the next video so thanks for watching guys hit like subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next video